Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stay for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we are testing out what's new at Sephora. I only purchased three items. I did also purchase the mini uh, Pat McGrath palette, but I'm waiting to film with that until tomorrow because my blush and highlight come in tomorrow. I decided to just keep Pat McGrath together in one video and to film with these three new items that I am also excited to test out. So if you would like to see what my thoughts are on these new products at Sephora, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so what my birthday recently passed. June is my birthday month, in case you didn't know. June 7th, I turned 35 years young. And my beautiful front neighbor gifted me a $100 gift card to Sephora. So I decided to place an order in and um, I also went ahead and picked up the Huda Beauty Concealer because I had already said I was going to review that before I started my no buy. So. I picked up the new Wisman Atelier powder, which I'm so excited about. This was so expensive. <laughs> the new LYS cream bronzer, and of course the Huda Beauty, the new full filter, right? Yeah, concealer. So these are the three products we're going to focus on today. I will more than likely leave a note either on the screen or in a pinned comment on the wear test just because it is later in the day right now. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my base on and then that way we can get started with the concealer. Alrighty guys, so the new Huda Beauty Fall Filter Luminous Matte Buildable Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. This retails for $29. It is a buildable creamy formula that can flux from medium to full coverage while it visibly brightens and conceals. It's fragrance free, which is a huge deal for Huda Beauty. Long wearing, crease proof, and made to move with you. And it's a matte finish, uh, vitamin E and sweet almond oil, helps condition and care for the delicate under eye skin. It comes in 29 shades. I picked up, I picked up 2.7 N coconut flakes. Um, I did have to watch a couple of, I guess, um, like early reviews from people that received this in PR, just so I can make sure that I got the correct color and it wasn't, you know, too dark, uh, like the rose ink. This has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in Italia. All right, I already have my base on and I actually mixed two products the soft matte nars in uh medium 3.5 and the nars this is the skin tint in medium zero which is mykonos this one's a tiny bit too light this one's a tiny bit too like on the yellow orange side so mixing these two together is kind of just perfect i did go in to the milk makeup this is the hydro grip eye primer and i use that on my under eyes i do enjoy hydrating my under eyes before i go in with concealer i do that a lot okay so the unicorn i enjoy it it's like that soft matte feel straight to the point and then here is what the actual component looks like i never purchased the fall filter foundation um but i believe it looks like this here is the doe foot and as you can tell it's a pretty big doe foot let's swatch it in on the back of my hand and I think I got a good shade. All right, so we're going to start with this eye and I am going to conceal. This is the Bobbi Brown in Peach. It's the concealer, well, it's like um, the corrector stick, yeah. And I typically just go like right here and here and then I usually go here as well. As you can see, I have this beautiful blemish that I picked. I'm going to go into my Sonia G mini base. I'm going to just pat this gently and blend it. And then up here as well. 
Now we're going to jump in to the concealer. And right here, oh, it feels nice, creamy. And right here. All right, I did let it sit for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to blend out down here first. Whatever's left over, I'm going to tap on top of this and see. And up here. So it feels creamy, but lightweight. Like, almost heavy but not in a bad way, heavy, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But that blended out so nice and so easy. I barely had to do any blending at all. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, now this is the side without corrector. I totally forgot to bring a sponge, so we're just going to use a brush again. Same one. How easy that's blending. It's like disappearing into my skin. I did let it sit for about 30 seconds as well. I might have put a tiny bit more on this side. Not on purpose. All right, so this is what we are looking like. I definitely feel like this side with no color corrector, which is this side, looks a tiny bit brighter than the side with color corrector. What do you guys think? But so far so good. It blended out super easy. It looks very smooth. It does not look drying at all. I'm really, really enjoying what I am looking at. So far, like formula-wise, I'm loving loving it i think it looks beautiful i don't know which side i like better i think i like this side better because i feel like this side is a tiny bit too bright and i feel like when a concealer is too bright it kind of makes the darkness under your eyes pop out a tiny bit more like i feel like this eye looks better than this eye i don't know you guys tell me be careful when you open it as well that big doe foot kind of makes the product splatter i did notice a couple of concealer specks around on my makeup area all right i kept you in close because the next product is the new westman atelier vital pressed skincare blurring talc free setting powder you guys already know how i feel about the whole uh, skincare infused products. Uh, for me, honestly, it's not a necessity. I take care of my own. Skincare is a nice that it's in there, yes, but um, I don't buy products specifically for that reason. So this retails for $75 and it comes in five different shades. I picked up the shade Translucent. It is a weightless, talc-free, clean setting powder packed with protective skin refining actives that provide an immediate diffused look and healthier looking skin over time coverage is light and the finish is natural some of the highlighted ingredients uh, has probiotics vitamin c quinoa seed extract huh it minimizes the look of pores and retexturizes the look of skin okay so this was made in china okay and it has a 12 month shelf life and do enjoy the packaging or the unicorn i should say it's very just simple straight to the point it almost reminds me of chanel a tiny bit it did come in its own little pouch because you know luxury brands love to be a little bit extra and did i mention this cost 75 dollars <laughs> um here is what the small little powder looks like it is definitely heavy it has weight to it um i do enjoy the packaging i definitely do feel like you get a luxurious experience and um it does have a nice little mirror and here is the powder so um i mean nothing really special right okay i did watch just a couple of reviews on this powder um when it was announced i was interested in it i just wasn't sure i was going to grab it because it's 75 dollars honestly the only reason i did is because of the gift card that was gifted 
to me. So Gucci Westman is the um, CEO of Westman Atelier and she is one of the world's top makeup artists. And uh, so, you know, she kind of knows what she's doing. <laughs> I did hear, I think in one or two of the videos, she does not put powder right under her eyes. It's like a little bit lower and she leaves her under eyes not powdered. I have to powder my under eyes. So Miss uh, Gucci, I'm pretty sure you know exactly what you're doing, but for my under eyes, I have to powder them. So we are going to use this as an under eye powder and see how it goes. Hopefully goes okay. All right, so for those of you who are new here, I always set my under eyes with setting spray before I go in with powder. So I literally just squirt a tiny bit on the back of my hand. I dip my brush into it, make sure it's not too, too wet. And then I blend out and make sure all the creases are gone. Once I've done that and it's nice and dry, then I go in with my under powder. So we are going to go into this. I'm using my makeup for Forever little puff. I always set my under eyes with a puff. A brush just simply does not work anymore. So there it is. I always pounce it on my hand so that I don't have too much product. And then I press it in. That is how I set my under eyes. And that is the only way that works in order for me not to get any creasing. Oh, like you're any more worse than normal creasing. I feel that looks really good. I feel it looks nice and smooth. Can you tell the difference between this eye and this eye? It almost looks blurring, doesn't it? Okay, so I went ahead and powdered the other side and I'm not too mad at what I'm looking at. At first, I did feel like it was looking a tiny bit dry, but now that it's kind of been settling in, I feel like it looks okay. Let me swatch it real quick and see what it feels like. I should have probably done that first. Ooh, it's very soft. Oh, wow, okay. almost disappears, it's crazy. All right guys, I did not powder the rest of my face, only my under eyes are powdered right now. And next is a cream bronzer, LYS Beauty, which in case you didn't know, stands for Love Yourself and it is a black owned beauty brand. Came out with the No Limits Cream Bronzer and Contour Stick. Okay, first of all, I absolutely love the fact that it states it's a cream and a contour. Meaning, depending on how the undertone looks on your skin, you can either use this as a contour or a bronzer. Love that. It retails for $19. LYS is a very affordable brand, which I love. This is a clean, talc-free, buildable cream bronzer that visibly sculpts, defines, and livens up the complexion with a silky smooth, blendable formula. This has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in Taiwan. All right, in case you didn't know, LYS has like the triangle. That's their shape of the brand. Just like Rose Ink has the round. I, I do like the fact that they're keeping that in the theme of their whole makeup brand. So here is what the bronzer slash contour stick looks like. It's pretty lightweight. I definitely want to say that you could tell it's an affordable product. There is the shade. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh yeah, there's five different shades and I picked up the second lightest shade, which is called Harmony. Um, and I believe that that shade is sold out. So it looks like the three lightest shades are sold out and the two darkest shades are still available. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, okay, it feels very creamy. Like, I thought it was going to be a little more, okay, but I'm trying to blend it with my finger and it does not feel like it's super emollient. So I don't know if I'm going to swipe my face or pick up with my brush, but I definitely feel that this is a good shade to use as a bronzer. It looks more neutral than warm tone. I don't know what do you guys think. All right, so this is a Morphe and Ariel 858, and I think I'm going to pick up with my brush 
just because I'm blending it with my finger on the back of my hand. It felt a little stiff and I don't want to lift up any of my foundation. Let's start. And like I said, I did not, oh, okay, <laughs> that's a lot of product. I did not set, oh my gosh, that's a lot of product, the rest of my face. Oh, geez, I picked up too much. Okay. All right, I wiped my brush because I want to make sure that I give this product a fair chance. It's okay if it's a tiny bit dark because I am going to powder on top of this and that should kind of lighten it up a tiny bit. Now that I'm blending it out, I feel like it's looking a little bit more on the yellow tone side. What do you guys think? But it's blending out fairly easy. Not as easy as like the Rare Beauty or like the Rose Ink that I recently purchased. This one's <laughs> A lot of product on this cheek over here. Well, that blended out fairly easy. I was a little scared. Didn't lift up some of my product. All right, so this is what that is looking like and I feel like it looks very pretty. I did go in to the foundation brush that I used and just kind of diffused the edges so it looks blended nice and seamlessly. I do enjoy the color. When I first started blending it, I kind of felt like it did look a tiny bit yellow, I don't know. But so far, right now, what I'm looking at, I do enjoy it. I feel like it looks beautiful. I look nice and tanned. All right, now I am going to set my face with the Wisman Atelier powder. Now I'm going to use it lightly. Honestly, when I blended this on the back of my hand, it literally disappeared. So I have high hopes that this is going to look very beautiful. This is a Morphe and Ariel 821, and I'm picking like the lightest amount. I literally dipped into it super soft, and I'm going to just tap it. Oh wow, it's like literally blurring my skin. I am using natural lighting. Uh, it's like 7.30, so I'm trying to hurry up and use as much natural lighting as I can. But wow, do you guys see my skin, how it looks blurred? Just that one dip. All right guys, makeup is nice and done, but I want to do some swatch comparisons before we talk about my thoughts on the three new products that I tried out. Um, this is the concealer, and I just wanted to show you what it looked like once it was dried down. It does feel soft, and it is kind of transferring still on my finger. Okay, so this is the new LYS cream bronzer slash contour, depending on how it looks on your skin. Harmony is the shade. Right here, this is the Undone Beauty, the water bronzer in Baked 210. This one right here is the new Rose Ink in the shade Kue. I think that's how you pronounce it. This one right here is the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick in Happy Soul. This one is the Nude Sticks in Bondi Bay. And I decided to go ahead and just swatch the Makeup by Mario um, Contour Stick. I think it's a contour stick in Light medium. So I definitely feel like it's pulling warm against all of the other ones, like the Undone Beauty. I definitely feel like the Rose Ink is a little more neutral than the LYS, but I am enjoying. I feel it looks beautiful and yeah. All right, and on this hand, I did want to swatch some under eye powders that I kind of use and absolutely love. So at the very top, which you can barely see, I feel like it kind of disappears. It blends into your skin so well. This is the Westman Atelier. Right underneath it is the Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Pressed Powder in Translucent. Right here, I do enjoy that one a lot. Right here, which you can also barely see, but you can see a little bit of glimmer. 
It is the NARS, the translucent crystal pressed powder right here. Also really enjoy this one. And last but not least at the bottom is the Pat McGrath in Light. This is the under eye powder that she has. Out of all of these, the Pat McGrath is my least favorite. And out of all of these that I swatch, they all feel completely different upon swatching. The Wisman Atelier is definitely the softest out of all of them. It feels so velvety soft. All right, so for the lips, I have on the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude and the Makeup by Mario little uh, lip glow thing in Apricot Glow. I did go in to a Sigma blush. This is in Corde Rosa and the Truffle blush from Dose of Colors. I kind of just mixed them together. For the highlight, I have on the new Odin's Eye warm sunshine i love this highlight it is so pretty the shift on it just looks so well with my skin tone for the eyes i just have on this vive muse it's one of her shadow sticks in hazelnut like on the crease and a little bit on the outer corner and then the victoria beckham lid lustre in starlight like um the the carrot gold one yeah, that is it. That is what I have on my face. Very fresh, very natural. I felt like keeping it nice and <laughs> simple. Okay, so what do I think about these products? The concealer, let's, let's look here. Okay, I feel like the concealer actually looks pretty good. I feel the shade that I picked is actually a perfect shade, which I'm glad because the last one I picked, which was the rose ink, was not a good match. It's a tiny bit dark, but I can still make it work. But so far, so good. I feel my under eyes look absolutely stunning. And I actually prefer the side with the color corrector than the side that doesn't have it. But so far, creasing is like non-existent, which is is awesome that does not happen often with my under eyes all right as far as the lys bronzer and contour stick i do feel like the shade is absolutely beautiful i'm enjoying it once you put everything else i don't feel like it actually looks yellow like i thought it did when i was blending it out now when i swatched it in uh on the back of my hand it felt a lot more soft more smooth but then once i started blending it with my finger it did feel like it was tugging just a tiny bit so I feel like I went the safe route in dipping my brush into the actual product, but I do feel like it blended out fairly easy, not as easy as like the Rare Beauty or the Charlotte Tilbury, but it did blend out fairly easily. It's $19, so it's a super affordable cream bronzer in case you are in the market for one and you are on a budget, you will not be disappointed. Okay, and last but not least, the super expensive item of today's video is the Westman Atelier Pack powder so i did watch i think it was two reviews i can't remember but tara lynn was one of them and she's absolutely correct for 75 dollars it is not worth it <laughs> Because, I mean, look at this little thing. This is so small. How much product do you get? I can't even read it because the print is so small on this thing. You get 0.17 ounces. That is a tiny bit of product. Now, product-wise and how it's performing, holy guacamole, my skin is looking flawless. I used the smallest amount. Oh my goodness, my skin looks beautiful gorgeous now i would have to do like a wear test and like wear it outside and all that to see like if my oils pop out or whatnot but right now what i'm looking at in the mirror and in the camera my skin looks flawless this better not become a favorite because it's 75 dollars all right guys well thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you you guys have no idea that pretty much concludes this video of trying some new makeup from sephora which was a very successful video all right well let me know down below if you are thinking about picking up any of these items or if you already did what are your thoughts do you love it do you hate it are you going to pick something up because it was so successful for me let me know let's chat in the comment section down below all right with that being said i would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up 
I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.